This video and all videos in the related series are of the divine literature of Orthodox Christianity. It is the intention of Spurgeon Rombaum to always advise that the video is to be viewed in a scriptural, cultural, and historical context. Though this channel does not reflect any denominational doctrines or views and welcomes Messianic Jews, Orthodox Jews, Orthodox Christians, mainstream Protestant Christians, and Catholics and those in commune with Rome, this series will focus primarily on the Orthodox Christian denominations. Yoki. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, our God, whose power is beyond compare, and glory is beyond understanding, whose mercy is boundless, and love for us inevitable, Look upon us and upon this holy house in your compassion. Grant to us, to those who pray with us, your abundant mercy. For to you belongs all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Lord, our God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord. You have given us grace to offer these common prayers with one heart. You have promised to grant the requests of two or three gathered in your name. Fulfill now the petitions of your servants for our benefit, giving us the knowledge of your truth in this world and granting us eternal life in the, power, in the world to come. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Master and Lord our God, you have established in heaven the orders and hosts of angels and archangels to minister to your glory. Grant that the holy angels may enter with us, that together we may serve and glorify your goodness, for to you be long all glory honor and worship to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit now and forever to the ages of ages amen blessed is the entrance of your children always now and forever to the ages of ages amen come let us worship and bow before christ save us o son of god who rose from the dead to you we sing alleluia Holy God, you dwell among your saints. You are praised by the Siphon and the Thrice Holy Hymn, with the Thrice Holy Hymn, and glorified by the Cherubim, and worshipped by all the heavenly powers. You have brought all things out of nothing into being. You have created man and woman in your image and likeness, and adored them with all the gifts of your grace. You have you give wisdom and understanding to the supplicant and do not overlook the sinner but have established repentance as the way of salvation you have enabled us your lowly and unworthy servants to stand at this hour before the glory of your holy altar and to offer to you due worship and praise master set the thrice holy hymn also from the lips of us sinners Invite it to us in your goodness, forgive our voluntary and involuntary transgressions, sanctify our souls and bodies, and grant that we may worship and serve you in holiness all the days of our lives by the intercession 
that your son provided to all those who please you throughout the ages. For you are holy, our God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed are you on the throne of glory of your kingdom, seated upon the cherubim, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Shine within our hearts. Loving Master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our minds that we may comprehend the message of your gospel. Instill in us also reverence for your blessed commandments, so that having conquered sinful desires, we may pursue a spiritual life, thinking and doing all those things that are pleasing to you. For you, Christ our God, are the light of our souls and bodies, and to you we give glory together with your Father, who is without beginning, and your all-holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. O oh God, you have visited our lowliness in mercy and compassion. You have set us, your lowly, sinful, and unworthy servants, to serve at your holy altar before your holy glory. Strengthen us for this service with the power of your Holy Spirit and grant speech to our lips that we may invoke the grace of your Holy Spirit upon the gifts that are about to be offered and grant that always guarded by your power we may give glory to you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. No one bound by carnal desires and pleasures is worthy to approach, draw near, or minister to you, the King of glory. For to serve you is great and awesome, even for the heavenly powers. Yet, because you, because your inevitable and immeasurable love for mankind, you impassionately and immutably became a man. You, as the master of all, became our high priest and delivered unto us the sacred service of this liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. Indeed, Lord our God, you alone reign over the celestial and terrestrial. Born aloft on the cherubic throne, Lord of the Sifrim and King of Israel, the, holy, the only holy and resting among the holy ones, I now beseech you, who alone are good and inclined to hear, look down upon me, your sinful and unprofitable servant, and cleanse my soul and heart of a wicked conscience, and enable me, by the power of your Holy Spirit, clothed with the grace of the priesthood, to stand before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body. In your precious blood, I come before you with my head bowed, and I implore you, turn not your face away from me, nor reject me from among your children, but make me your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer these gifts to you, for you are the one who both offers and is offered, the one who is received and is disputed. O Christ our God, and to you we offer up glory with the Father, whom is without beginning, and your holy and good and life-creating Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and be gracious to me. Forgive me, brothers and sisters, I am a sinner. Lift up your hands towards the holy place and bless the Lord. May the Lord remember us all in his kingdom and at all times, now and forever, and throughout all ages. Lord, our God, you created and brought us into life. You have shown us the way to salvation and have bestowed upon us the revelation of heavenly mysteries. You have appointed us to the service by the power of your Holy Spirit. Grant, therefore, O Lord, that we may be accepted as servants 
of your new covenant and ministers of your holy mysteries accept us as we draw near to you, your holy altar according to the multitude of your mercy that we may be worthy to offer you the spiritual sacrifice without the shedding of blood for our sins and for the transgressions of your people grant that having an having accepted this sacrifice upon your holy heavenly and spiritual altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance you may in return send down upon us the grace of your holy spirit look upon us O god and consider our worship and accepted as you accepted the gifts of abel the sacrifices of noah the burnt offerings of abraham the priestly offerings of moses and aaron and the priests and the peace offerings of Samuel, as you accepted this true worship from your holy apostles, accept also in your goodness, O Lord, these gifts from the hands of us sinners, that being deemed worthy to serve you at your holy altar without blame, we may obtain the reward of the faithful stewards on the fearful day of your just judgment. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Trinity in one essence and inseparable. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit in the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. And he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, he spoke through, who spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Live, let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, Master, Lord, God, wonder, worshipful Father Almighty. It is truly just and right to the majesty of your holiness to praise you to him you, to bless you, to worship you, to give thanks to you, to glorify you, the only true God, and to offer to you this our spiritual worship with a contrite heart and a humble spirit. For you have given us to know your truth. Who is worthy to praise your mighty acts or to make known all your praises or tell of all your wonderful deeds at all times, master of all things, Lord of heaven and earth, and of every creature visible and invisible, you are seated upon the throne of glory and behold the depths. You are without beginning, invisible, incomprehensible, beyond words, unchangeable. You are the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the great God and Savior of our hope, the image of your goodness, the true seal of of revealing in himself you the father he is the living word the true god eternal wisdom life sanctification power in the true light through him the holy spirit was manifested 
the spirit of truth, the gift of sonship, the blood, the pledge of our future inheritance, the fruit, first fruits of eternal blessings, the life-giving power, the source of sanctification through whom every rational and spiritual creature is made capable of worshiping you and giving you eternal glorification for all things are subject to you. For you are praised by the angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, and the many odd cherubim. Round about you stand the Sephirim, one with six wings and the other with six wings. With two they cover their faces, with two they cover their feet, with two they fly crying out to one another with unceasing voices and ever sounding praises, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out and saying, Holy, 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 Lord Shabbat, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna to God in the highest. Together with these blessed powers, loving Master, we sinners also cry out to you and say, Truly, you are holy and most holy, and there are no bounds to the majesty of your holiness. You are holy in all your works, for with righteousness and true judgment you have ordered all things for us, for having made man by taking dust from the earth and having honored him with your own image, O God. You placed him in the garden of delight, promising him eternal life and the enjoyment of everlasting blessings and the observance of your commandments. But when he disobeyed you, the true God who had created him and was led astray by the deception of the serpent becoming subject to death, through his own transgressions, you, O God, in your righteous judgment, expelled him from paradise into this world returning him to the earth from which he was taken, yet providing for him the salvation of regeneration in your Christ. For you did not forever reject your creature whom you made, O good one, nor did you forget the work of your hands. But because of your tender compassion, you visited him in various ways. You sent forth prophets who you performed mighty works by your saints who in every generation have pleased you. You spoke to us by the mouth of your servants, the prophets, announcing to us the salvation which was to come. You gave us the law to help us. You appointed angels as guardians. And when the fullness of time had come, you spoke to us through your son himself, through whom you created the ages. He being the splendor of your glory and the image of your being, upholding all things by the word of his power, thought it not robbery to be equal with you, God the Father, but being God before all ages, he appeared on earth and lived with humankind, becoming incarnate from a virgin. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, conforming to the body of our lowliness, that he might change us in the likeness of the image of his glory. For since through man sin came into the world and through sin death, it pleased your only begotten Son who is your bosom, God and Father, born of a woman, the Thikos, and otherwise known as Mary, born under the law to contemn sin in his flesh, so that those who died in Adam may be brought to life in him, your Christ. He lived in this world and gave us precepts of salvation, releasing us from the delusions of idolatry. He guided us to the sure knowledge of you, the true God and Father. He acquired us for himself as his chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, having cleansed us by water and sanctified us by, with the Holy Spirit. He gave himself as ransom to death in which we were held captive, sold under sin, descending into Hades through the cross. 
that he might fill all things with himself, he loosed the bonds of death. He rose on the third day, having opened a path for all flesh to the resurrection from the dead, since it was not possible for the author a life would be dominated by corruption. So he became the first fruits of those who had fallen asleep, the firstborn of the dead, that he might be fulfilled, that he might be himself the first in all things. Ascending into heaven, he said at the right hand of your majesty on high, and he will come to render to each according to his works as memorials of his saving passion he has left us these gifts, which we have set forth before you according to his commands. For when he was about to go forth to his voluntary, ever memorable and life-giving death on the night on which he was delivered up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy and pure hands and presenting it to you, God and Father, and offering thanks, blessing, and sanctifying, and breaking it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you and for the forgiveness of sins. Likewise, he took the cup of the fruit of vine, and <laughs> having mingled it, offering thanks, blessing, and sanctifying it. He gave to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim my death, and you confess my resurrection. Therefore, Master, we also, remembering his saving passion and life-giving cross, his three-day burial and resurrection from the dead, his ascension into heaven and enthronement at your right hand, God and Father, and his glorious and awesome second coming, we offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all for all. Therefore, most holy Master, we also, your sinful and unworthy servants, whom you have made worthy to serve at your holy altar, not because of our own righteousness, for we have not done anything good upon the earth, but because of your mercy and compassion, which you have so richly poured upon us, we dare to approach your holy altar and bring forth the symbols of the holy body and the blood of your Christ. We pray for, we pray to you and call upon you, O Holy of Holies, that by the favor of your goodness, your Holy Spirit may come upon us and upon the gifts here presented, to bless, sanctify, and make this bread to be the precious body of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ, and this cup to be the precious blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ, chef for the life and salvation of the world and unite us all to one another whom become partakers of the one bread and the cup in the communion of the one Holy Spirit grant that none of us may partake of the holy body and blood of your Christ to judgment or condemnation but that we may find mercy and grace with all the saints who through the ages have pleased you Forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, teachers, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Remember also all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection to eternal life, and grant them rest, our God, where the light of your countenance shines. Again, we pray to you, be mindful of your holy, universal, and apostolate church which is from one end of the inhabited earth to the other. Grant peace to her, which you have obtained with the precious blood of your Christ. Strengthen also this holy house to the end of the ages. Remember, Lord, those who have brought you these gifts and for whom 
and through whom and the intentions for which they were offered. Remember, Lord, those who bear fruit and do good works in your holy churches and those who remember the poor. Reward them with your rich and heavenly gifts. Grant them in return for earthly things, heavenly gifts, for temporal, eternal, for corruptible, incorruptible. Remember, Lord, those who are in the deserts, on mountains, in caverns, and in the chambers of the earth. Remember, Lord, those living in chastity and godliness, And in holiness of life, remember, Lord, this country and all those in public service whom you have allowed to govern on earth. Grant them profound and lasting peace. Speak to their hearts good things concerning your church and all your people, that through the faithful conduct of their duties, we may live peacefully and sincere lives in all piety and holiness. Sustain the good in their goodness, make the wicked good through your goodness. Remember, Lord, the people here, here presented and those who are absent with good calls. Have mercy on them and on us according to the multitudes of your mercy. Fill their treasuries with every good thing. Preserve their marriages in peace and harmony. Nurture the infants, instruct the youth, strengthen the aged, give courage to the faint-hearted, reunite those separated, bring back those in error, and unite them to your holy, universal, and apostolate church. Free those who are held captive by unclean spirits. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, defend the widows, protect the orphans, liberate the captives, heal the sick, remember, Lord, those who are in mines, in exile, in harsh labor, and those in every kind of affliction, necessity, and or distress. Those who entreat your loving kindness, those who love us and those who hate us, those who have asked us to pray for them, unworthy though we may be. Remember, Lord our God, all your people, and pour out your rich mercy upon them, Granting them their petitions for salvation. Remember, O Lord, all those whom we have not remembered through ignorance, forgetfulness, or because their multitude, since you know the name and age of each, even from their mother's womb. For you, Lord, are the helper of the helpless, the hope of the hopeless, the savior of the afflicted, the haven of the voyager the physician of the sick, be all things to all, you who know each person, his requests, his household, and his needs. Deliver this community and city, O Lord, and every city and town from famine, plague, earthquake, flood, fire, sword, invasion of foreign enemies, and civil war. Remember, Lord, all Orthodox clergy who rightly teach the word of your truth, Remember, Lord, my unworthiness and according to the multitude of your mercies. Forgive my every transgression, both voluntary and involuntary. Do not take away the grace of the Holy Spirit from these gifts presented because of my sins. Remember, Lord, all of the clergy from these gifts presented because of... I'm sorry all the clergy and every order of the clergy and do not confound any of us who stand about your holy altar visit us with your goodness lord manifest yourself to us through your rich compassion grant us seasonable weather and fruitful seasons send gentle showers upon the earth so that it may bear fruit bless the crown of the year of your goodness prevent schism in the church pacify the raging of the heathen quickly stop the uprisings of heresies by the power of your holy spirit receive us all into your kingdom declare us to be sons and daughters 
O light and of the day, grant us your peace and love, Lord our God, for you have given all things to us, and grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The mercy of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. Our God, the God who saves, you teach us justly to thank for the good things which you have done and still do for us. You are our God who has accepted these gifts, cleanse us from every defilement of flesh and spirit, and teach us how to live in holiness by your fear, so that receiving the portion of your holy gifts with a clear consciousness, we may be united with the holy body and blood of your Christ. Having received them worthily, may we have Christ dwelling in our hearts, and may we become the temple of your Holy Spirit. Yes, our God, let none of us be guilty before these, your awesome and heavenly mysteries, nor be infirm in body and soul by partaking of them unworthily, but enable us even up to our last breath to receive a portion of your holy gifts worthily as provision for eternal life and as an acceptable defense at the awesome judgment seat of your Christ, so that we also, together with all the saints who through the ages have pleased you, may become partakers of your eternal good things, which you, Lord, have prepared for those who love you, and make us worthy, Master, with confidence and without fear of condemnation to, de to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all, Lord, Master, the Father of mercies, and God of every consolation. Bless, sanctify, guard, fortify, and strengthen those who have bowed their heads to you. Distance them from every ill deed, lead them to every good work, and make them worthy to partake without condemnation of these, your most high, most pure and life-giving mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for the communion of the Holy Spirit. By the grace, mercy, and love for us, your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, hear us from your holy dwelling place and from the glorious throne of your kingdom. You are enthroned on high with the Father and are also invisibly present among us. Come and sanctify us and let us let your pure body and precious blood be given to us for your mighty by your mighty hand and through us to all your people. The holy gifts are the holy people of God. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the highest. Hallelujah. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed, broken but not divided. He is forever eaten, yet is never consumed. But he sanctifies those who partake of him. The fullness of the Holy Spirit. Blessed is the verver of your saints, always, now, and forever, into the ages of ages, the warmth of the Holy Spirit. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God. You came into the world to save sinners, and of whom I am the first. 
I also believe that this is truly your pure body and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you and have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions voluntarily and involuntary in word and indeed known and unknown and make me worthy and without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment. And being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of body and soul and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not reveal my your mystery to your adversaries, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas. But as the thief, I confess to you, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Behold, I approach Christ, our immortal King and God, the precious and most holy body of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ is given to me for the forgiveness of my sins and for eternal life. The precious and most holy body of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ is given to me for the forgiveness of my sins and for eternal life. This has touched my lips, taking away my transgressions and cleansing my sins. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. We venerate your cross of Christ and we praise and glorify your holy resurrection. You are our God. We know no other than you. And we call upon your name. Come all faithful. Let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to all the world. Blessing the Lord always. Let us praise his resurrection. For enduring the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Save, O oh God, your people and bless your inheritance. Wash away, Lord, by your holy blood the sins of all those commemorated through prayers. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let your glory be over all the earth. Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. We thank you, Lord, our God, for the communion of your holy, most pure, immortal, and heavenly mysteries, which you have granted us for the benefit, sanctification, and healing of our souls and bodies. Grant, Master of all, that the communion of the holy body and blood of your Christ may become for us faith unashamed, love unfinged, fullness of wisdom, healing of soul and body, repelling of every hostile adversary, observance of your commandments, and an acceptable defense at the dreaded judgment seat of your Christ. For you are our sanctification, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, who blesses those who bless you, and sanctifies those who put their trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power, and forsake us not who have set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to our civic leaders, to the armed forces, and to all peop your people. For every good and perfect thing is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. 
Christ our God, you're, you are the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. You have fulfilled the Father's entire plan of salvation. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness always, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you by his divine grace and love always, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God. Glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, as a good, loving, and merciful God, have mercy upon us and save us through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable, bodiless powers of heaven. Through Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. May the Holy Trinity protect all of you. May the blessing and mercy of the Lord be with you. Amen.